Hi everybody. I apologize for the late delivery on this, but somehow I got into the wrong week. I guess I looked at my calendar sideways and I was expecting uh, the Tooth Fairy or somebody else to do the comments. And it just dawned on me this morning, it re was really my turn again. Everybody did a wonderful job at extracting the turkeys. The ideas were so clever, I was really impressed, especially since I had struggled so hard to do an entry on my own. So kudos to everybody. Every time I see a new one, it's my favorite. So I, I just, I couldn't pick a favorite if, if I had to. I will say that Sherry has gone well with the season. I want to say, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to say this. I had to lighten everybody's image up so I could see it. So if it looks different than what you thought it looked like, it was only so I could see details. Um, Sherry has started us off very nice for the holiday season. Sherry, you've done a wonderful job with the hands. They're actually like turkey leg hands. The, the texture and the color on them are just, are just fantastic. The background is perfect for this picture. The sack, maybe the sack and the hand and the, the uh, jacket all came together. But the hand and the, and the jacket and the sack fit together so well with each other. You cannot tell, other than the turkey head, because it's only because it's a turkey, that this is a composited image. It's done very well. I love the way you've managed to get the little quirky feathers here on this. I was surprised that this image extracted as well as it would with that, with that um, dark background. Wonderful image, Sherry. You should consider this one perhaps with another face. Perhaps not, as a Christmas card. And then Russell. I, fell, I almost fell out of my chair laughing at this one. I really thought the idea was perfect. <laughs> one more holiday to go. You know, it's, and you've done an excellent job of hiding the turkey in amongst the foliage. The foliage comes over his beak and his, and his neck as it should. It, it just done, you've done an excellent job of placing him in his background. And, and these comments are going to be very nitpicky. They're teeny tiny little things that might help you improve. The thing that, that sticks out to me, because it's white and because our eyes go to the white, whitest thing of the image, is the words. They could be just a tiny bit bigger to fit better inside the thought bubble. Or a tiny bit smaller, did I say bigger? Tiny bit smaller to fit inside the thought bubble. I would like to see capital letter for J and some sort of punctuation, a series of dots, um, an exclamation point, a question mark, a series of question marks, something to express the turkey's half hesitancy, half part hesitancy, part fear, and part elation because he escaped one set of the acts. The other thing that I would say 
and again, it, it's just tiny, Russell, and it's just a suggestion, is that the top set of trees are more yellow than the bottom set of trees. Now, if I take off the smart filters, it isn't as obvious, but you can still see the difference there. And this yellowness also makes the sky a little yellower than it might be. Now, I don't know about in Florida, but here in Michigan this time of year, we don't get very many turquoise skies. So maybe this is a Florida turkey, and I shouldn't complain about that. Wonderful job. Photographically speaking, a good composition. Um, you might want to crop off this bottom half or bottom couple inches here, which would put him on a third line. But as I said, I almost fell out of my chair. And I think he did a wonderful job, and I love the thought behind it. Helen, I thought I recognized the barn, and you said we have seen it before. I, I like the way you were able to match the coloring of the starter turkey, or match the coloring of the added turkey with the coloring of the starter turkey. It's the same shade of black on the feathers. It's pretty much the same shade of red on the wattles. We've got some of the same blues. It just works really well. You've got your shadows, what few there are, all going the same direction, which is very helpful. It makes it look very well put together. I would, however, say if we look at the clouds and where the bright part of the clouds are, the shadows would be going, the sun would be about the direction that I have your name. And the shadows on the windmill and the turkey would be coming more to the right. The barn shadow works well. Now the easy way to fix this, Helen, would be to take your sky background and just flip it horizontally and you've got it done. Photographically speaking, it's a very interesting composition. We've got the two light objects, which are the turkey. And this turkey kind of leads up to the windmill and the windmill leads over to the barn, which leads over to the other turkey who is looking at this one. And we've got a nice circular, <coughs> excuse me, circular composition going on. Very nice. Like I said, every time I look at these, it's my favorite one. So whichever one I'm looking at is the one I'm, I'm having favorites. Jim, I love what you, you've opened up this guy's mouth and you've, the look in his eyes and on his face is perfect. He was so surprised to see an archer after Thanksgiving. He doesn't know what to think. The lighting, which is this back corner here, seems to work well on the ferry. At least on the bottom half of the ferry. Um, the top half of the fairy, I can see her arm with shadow part of her face, but we should see a little bit of light here on this elbow just to because. And the interesting thing, and this isn't your fault, Jim, this is whoever shot this fairy must have had two lights. Because, well, on the bottom, the light is clearly coming from the left. Up here on her shoulder, there's a second light that's coming from the right. Which makes it hard to light the whole thing. Especially out in the woods like this. It's terrible to have to take those extra lights out in the woods. Um, the turkey is very well extracted. You can see all the little feathers along the edges here. Or 
skin tags, maybe you want to call them, whatever they are, you can see them very well. Once I lightened it, you can see detail in the turkey feathers. But I had to lighten everybody's. So my monitor must be especially dark this week. I've had just a teeny bit of problems with it going out of out of calibration. The only thing um, what I can fault Jim is this wavy beak. One more touch with liquify. A small liquify brush would take care of that nicely. Photographically speaking, it's a good composition. We've got a nice diagonal thing going on between the fairy, the arrow, and the turkey. I would have liked personally to see the edges of her wings, but it's this is his personal quirk. It's not necessary. The, sto the story can be told without it. And if you put her up any, if you put her any lower, she couldn't hit the turkey with her arrow. So nice job. I want to thank you all for participating this week. I was just amazed at how well everything was done. I want to thank you for doing that. Um, I'm still considering. narrowing the scope of our group i am still a little dismayed at the lack of participation i don't know what we're doing wrong that we aren't um aren't getting the others to join in i'm thinking perhaps a topic of the week would be a good way to get more people to participate. That way it could be a photograph, it could be a composition, it could be a blend. I don't know. What do you think of that? Would, would it work to say, um, for instance, the first week would be New Year's or something like that, or, and then we could have snowstorm or icy or, or close-ups or I don't know what do you think um, and if you do think it would be a good idea give me some topics I need all the help I can get Helen I'm still looking forward to you commenting next week on your lovely um, snow scene if you would please if not please let me know and you all have a nice day